Hi everybody, I've been asked to do a video of why I use the barbecue when cooking at home. Um, as you can see, our kitchen isn't really modified, it's just um, a temporary rental we've, we've um, found. Um, the main reason is I don't like to lean across the burners in case of um, the obvious. And also with the oven, um, it's got a, a door that folds down instead of sideways, so it's hard to reach into the oven. And um, the best idea with the ovens are have a um, sideways opening door or where the racks actually pull out on, a, on rails. Another good tip with um, having a modified kitchen for wheelchair users is to have a slide out stealth board so you can put your pots and pans on there and um, attend to them that way. And also to have a second stealth board on the other side for cutting up your veggies and so forth so that you don't have to lean across the bench top where you might have an accident with the knife. Ideally in a modified kitchen you'd have the, um, the bench top a little lower and a roll under um, bench space so that you could get to the um, burners easier and have the oven to the side. Um, I've got my pork here ready to put on the barbecue. I've just had it in the fridge uncovered for about an hour and I'm just going to pat it dry and put olive oil and salt on it just to try and get that crispy skin, some crackling going. Okay, I've, um, I've given the um, roast pork a, um, a blast at a high temperature of about um, 230 degrees Celsius just to get that crispy skin happening. The crackling. Um, so I'm going to turn the heat down now just so that the meat cooks and I'll put the, um, the veggies on to cook in those um, pork juices shortly. Okay I'm ready to put the veggies on now. I'm just going to give the, um, the spuds a bit of a sprinkle with paprika. It's one of my favourite ingredients to sprinkle on the spuds. Just a bit of a, a turn. My good coating. I've got some um, sweet potato, normal potato, pumpkin, and roasted garlic. The, the other reason I like using the barbecue, especially to cook the veggies with, is just a personal choice that I like the smoky flavour that the barbecue produces. So I'll just tip those veggies in now. They should cook, cook nicely for about half an hour in those pork juices. I'll turn the heat down. So I'll give everything a turn in about 15 minutes. This is plenty of um, spuds and sweet spuds and pumpkin, so at least there's a bit of greenery with the um, broccoli. Um, I haven't timed it exactly right, it's pretty hard to, to time right. Um, the pork's actually ready and this is a problem with having a, a stove top that's too far over. i better turn it off so I don't burn myself. Yeah, as I was saying, um, the pork's actually ready and the veggies are still a bit hard, so I'm gonna put the pork in the oven just on warm um, and then take it out to rest for about 10 minutes. Okay, this is the real test now. One thing you've gotta remember is to cut the string off because it's not the tastiest ingredient of the dish. Okay, one other thing for safety is to always carve at a good height with something that's non-slip under, underneath the cutting board. If you're on a bench top, it's always good to use a uh, moist tea towel just to prevent slipping. Also, it's good to have a good sharp carving knife. And for tips on knife sharpening, you can uh, see my post on the forum. 
Alright, let's just cut this, um, this crap ring off first, actually. Nice and crackly. Right. You want it. Oops. Okay, well that certainly looks cooked. Nice and moist and juicy. So we'll see what it looks like on the plate once I plate up with the veggies. Okay, for the final touches we have the gravy and the apple sauce. I'm not too worried about the veggies, they look a bit well done but they're nice and soft inside and it's just the, um, the char flavour of the barbecue which makes them look like that. And all we have to do now is have a glass of Cab Sav and Bon Appetit.